you are looking at the FX Royale 200. Um, just got it a couple days ago, and I thought I'd just do a quick review of it. Um, just because <clears throat> I feel like not a lot of people have the 200. The 400 seems to be pretty popular, I'm guessing due, due to the shot count. I've actually owned a 400 before. Um, and my first impression is comparing it to the 400, um, the 400 is is definitely smaller. This this 200 is actually pretty robust. Um, the stock is pretty big. The forearm right here is actually um, pretty big. Um, let's see. Um, and um, it's longer. It's a longer gun. Um, I think the Royal is at 40, around 40. This one's at around 43. So it's definitely a little bit longer. And some people um, think that the 200 might be easier to handle out in the field. I'm not too sure owning both. Um, I kind of feel like the 400 is actually a better hunting gun. Um, I looked at the weights um, on FX, um, their website, and I think this gun actually, this 200 actually weighs a little bit more, um, probably due to the stock. Here is the other side of it. Um, <clears throat> it has a fully shrouded barrel. And I would say this one, this 200 is actually more quiet than the 400. Um, of course it has a fully shrouded barrel and I'll open up that for you in a bit here. I just wanted to show you this really quick. Um, I've owned, like I said, I've owned the 400 before. Um, and this is something I've noticed. It seems like there's a gap in between there. I don't think you'll ever see it, but there's a small gap. Um, and the magazine moves around, which is kind of weird to me. Um, if you guys want to check your 400s, let me know if you, yeah, there it goes, that gap right in between there but for some reason it's still incredibly smooth I almost want to say it's smoother than the 400 the cocking action um, when the probe actually pushes that pellet it seems smoother for some reason but maybe that maybe I'm wrong though but yep that, this goes like that so I don't know if that's designed that way on purpose but the shroud is pretty easy to remove. Um, just using a hex wrench, um, just remove that right there. You can see that hole, and just kind of twists and pull. Nothing in there. It's just a straight tube. And we got that. Um, <clears throat> pretty similar to the 400, but I remember the 400 has a brass fitting right there. That's the gun removed. No internals, but surprisingly quiet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this uh, mod, the mini mod that I got off um, the forum. Um, pretty well constructed, has two chambers. Um, here, let me just show it to you really quick. got um, this with like a hair curler kind of type thing, a mesh and this material here um, along with this thing and then another um, the same material um, this in the in that chamber back there so.
So what I'm going to do is um, just do a sound comparison with this on versus the shroud by itself. Um, I kind of feel like the shroud is effective by itself already and this, adding this, um, doesn't really make it that much more effective. I didn't really notice a sound difference but this is my first time actually recording this, um, the, recording the sound so maybe, maybe there is but um, I'm just going to do it here really quick for you. Here it is on. Well, there you have it. It's just my quick review of the 200, FX Royal 200. Um, overall, I like it. Um, I, don't have, I don't have a crony yet to really um, test it. Um, but overall, I like it and um, just wanted to do this quick review, hoping, you know, um, this will um, give buyers more information before they uh, make the purchase. Um, pretty expensive, uh, 1500 for the 22 cal. So that is my review. Thanks, guys.